Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is Eating for Meaning and when I say eating I mean spiritual as well as physical. We are living in a union of the 3 and 5D. The divine feminine is rising or has risen and the divine masculine is also right there with us going through his ascension as well. So these are the people that I am reaching out to. I'm a trained naturopathic doctor, so while I have a lot of scientific background and knowledge and training, I've been in practice for a number of years, I'm here to help you uh, with my empath skills as well as my intuition skills to help guide you towards seeking empowerment for yourself, how to move forward on your mission and disengage your beliefs about yourself that are negative and holding you back. So I use cards, I use astrology, and I use all of my knowledge of natural medicine to help guide you. I'm definitely here to answer your questions, take requests. I'm excited to grow my channel. I've had a number of false starts or it just hasn't been the right time. And if you go back, you'll see that I do have some videos which are very relevant and some videos that are doing very well, like my nutrition astrology video. So please look back and tune into those. But moving forward, I will be doing card readings for how to be healthy for this energy cycle. So for instance, if I was to pull a card today and anytime you show up at, to this uh, station, to this channel, and you read this, then this might be relevant for you. Um, that I'll pull a card, how to be healthy in the mind, body, spirit. Okay, so we've got the observer card. The observer card. How to be healthy in the mind with this energy as the observer. So don't jump to any fast conclusions. You want to take a step back. You want to be objective. Don't be so caught up in your own subjective opinion. If you're feeling hurt and wounded right now, take a step back outside of your body. Look at it as if you were your friend, as if you were a, an objective party. See if you can gain some perspective on it. See if you can put a few, a bit of distance between yourself and what you're feeling emotional about and move forward with that. I know it can be hard to separate ourselves from our experiences, but certainly when it comes to victimization and having felt victimized, it's because we're too close to it and we haven't allowed our hearts to heal and get some distance on it and look at it from a different perspective, especially in terms of the gifts that it provides us. Although negative experiences are never good and are never asked for, we do have the opportunity to learn from that and to change it so that there's an opportunity for us to grow and expand and go through that heartbreak so that we can develop our true character, our true mission in life, our true soul's purpose. And the more we experience from this front, then the more success we will have in putting the lessons in place and moving forward and the more mastery we can gain on ourselves. So I hope you've enjoyed this mini reading and that you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Please post your comments. Please book a session. I do have some specials running right now that I'll put below. If you would like to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm happy to do so. Blessings.